Welcome to week four of our van build. If you're new to this page, we are Kendall and Glenn and we've been traveling around Australia in our 1982 VW van named Vance. So far, we've constructed most of the stuff in a workshop that we've been renting out at the moment, as we are still currently living in Vance. But we did the big switcheroo, well, we did the big gutting last week, which now have sort of fitted some stuff, but we had a few hiccups along the way. So now we're in hopefully our last big week of work, fingers crossed. <laughs> Um, where we're just going to now start finger, uh, finishing off uh, a lot of the pieces that we still need to paint, finishing off the countertop, which is taking a heap of time with varnishing and sanding and getting it to finish nicely. Um, and basically any other little nooks and crannies that we need to sort out as well. So still got a really big week ahead of us, mm -hmm. but it should be at the point that everything starts to really come together for us. So very excited. Hands down, the most annoying part about this is because we're actually living in Vance while we're renovating him, which we do not recommend unless it's absolutely necessary, um, is that we have to obviously have our bed every day made, but because we're renovating it, uh, we have to completely take everything off and take the bedding out and everything every day. And then just have it hanging outside until the end of the day when we make it again. So this is what we got to last week. This is the bed frame that we made. You can see it's supported in the middle there and each end lifts up. The back lifts up so that you can access the engine because in VW vans, or at least in our van, the engine is in the back. Um, but we also have it up on slats so that we can fit a little bit more storage back there. And then in the front, this lifts up as well for so much storage. We're still going to put some divides in there and clean it up a bit, but the bare bones are in. So the whole beginning of the day was spent just kind of like looking at things in Vance and figuring out where things will go. Um, and Glenn also did a little bit of the electricals, started mapping all of that out, put in our uh, little outlet that we can use to charge things, um, secured the battery, and now we're just trying to figure out how we want to store the compartments of the under storage, under bed storage, which is proving to be really hard. I mean, it's like such a hard thing to decide how we want to compartmentalize it all based on the stuff that we have. So it's been a lot of just looking at things, discussing things, and figuring it out. But I think that we've figured out what we want to do. So I'll talk to you about that now. <laughs> Finishing the day. Oh, look at that. There's a counter in there. Almost. Almost. Half of it. <laughs> it's, it's still not finished. As in, it's not even varnished the back end. But it's looking pretty good. We wanted to put it in because now that everything's finally out, we can drop it in and see if the measurements have actually worked out, which they almost did. There are a few things we need to change still. So nothing major though. So it's thankfully. still a win. <sighs> thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. I was so relieved. It was made me a bit nervous, but yeah, it actually goes all right. So there's a few little things I need to shave off in different places. Uh, I had to cut out a little corner, things like that. But all in all, it's pretty cool to see it. Uh, see it coming it's together. Really, really coming together now. It's a good feeling. Yeah, it's been a big day though. Yeah. And tomorrow's another one. So we're just gonna go to the gym, have a shower, hit the hay for another <laughs> big one tomorrow. Bit like Groundhog Day, but that's all right. It's almost done. Woo! All right, we're back again. And we're taking everything out of Vance again to do it all over again today. 
Um, yesterday, basically, I thought we'd talk through exactly what we did. So we finalized the bed framing. This was already loosely in, so we decided to sort of fasten that down a bit more and then look at what we're working with for under bed storage. This is the hardest part because we're not used to having such an open void here. Before, what we used to have was the rock and roll bed was in that back compartment there. And then we made our own foot locker that slotted through the front, which meant there were just two really long skinny compartments, which were just really bad for storing anything really. So now we wanted this really big void, but we do need to divide it in some way. So I decided to put one along the back there because I don't know if you can tell from that angle, but the, there's a, a bit of a slope that goes above over the engine bay. So it ends up turning really skinny along the back there. So it's not exactly like a square. So we wanted to have like a thin sort of void to put things like umbrellas, anything long and skinny, um, fins, stuff like that, that sort of you can just chuck back there and leave and they're easy to get. Then we also wanted some things up the end here. So we've got various like tools. Being an old T3, we need oil on hand at all times. So we'll always have like a jug of oil back there. Um, skateboard, just like other things that aren't used that frequently, but we still have them with us. So it's fine to sort of tuck away in the corner there, which now leaves us to having just this nice big area here for everything else we have. So now we're just trying to figure out the best way to organize it as to whether we put in any more divides or how we sort of store various things and the best way to plan it, which is up for discussion really. <laughs> So we're gonna, we're gonna try and figure out how to store the pan and the pot because now this is where we're gonna store it as we don't have the storage along here that we used to have. So we're gonna figure out maybe to try and mount it to this top part so that it's basically part of the underside of the bed and then everything else can just sort of fill in here that we need but then we've still got our pot and pan handy nice and close so that it's always at the top essentially without having to balance on top of anything. So I'm still gonna sort of look into doing something like that but for now, pretty chuffed with how much space we have. It's just going to be a completely different way of living considering we had so much less in the way of storage. So I'm still going to close off this end bit here. And then after that, we should be pretty open to sort of start planning how we're going to lay it all out. Now, as you saw yesterday afternoon, we also chucked the countertops in to see how that would all go together for the first time. A <laughs> um, few changes we made yesterday, I've still got to I've got to make a slight change to where this panel sits here and then we've also just got to shave the end to try and make it a bit more flush but other than that pretty stoked with that. So we're going to get that straight away so we can start varnishing that. Uh, most of the electrics are now done but I just need to tidy up all the cabling because it's an absolute mess right now. But that's all done. So that way we can start dropping in the panel that'll go this side of the fridge, the supports that go around the fridge and then start also looking into the drawers that we're going to have above it. So we're going to give it our best crack to... Well, then we've also got the kitchen out as well. So still heaps to do. And we basically just see how far we get with it. So the kitchenette will sit in there. Basically exactly what we had before, but better. <laughs> Better, as Glenn would say. Okay, the piece holding the kitchenette is Solid. now in. Yeah, success. <laughs> another day done and dusted. Another, well another peanut butter banana wrap eaten. Yeah, um, what a day. What a day. It was, was good. Really, it was actually a really nice day. Yeah, good day. Not too strenuous. Oh, I got a fair bit done. Yeah, it. Everything's looking solid as. Yeah. But we sort of, unless we, the next like tasks are all like quite time consuming and big. So there's not much point doing them today. So we figure, have some food. We call it a day and then they're closed tomorrow as it's Tuesday and we'll come back Wednesday and hopefully fit the kitchenette in which would be really exciting because we'd finally have a functioning kitchen and then we need to keep still just continually sanding and varnishing the countertops because that takes a long time to do it well 
And then just heaps of little nitpicky jobs, like we're moving the curtain from here to over here now because we're getting rid of this ugly thing, which is pretty exciting too. Woo! Woo! Candle stacked. <laughs> I hate that thing so much. <laughs> I hate it. It's so ugly. It's like, ugh. Yeah. Good riddance. Good riddance. <laughs> and yeah, everything after that's like, that's the bulk of it. I can't believe it, but I can. And in the meantime, you're gonna shave your face. <laughs> Hairy man. <laughs> okay, another day. Ready to go. Ready to go. What are we doing today? What are we doing today? <laughs> well, we just came from Ikea. Yeah. We haven't even told you about that. We've basically gone in like five times. Lots of back and forth figuring out how to get our hands on this sink that's been out of stock and then in stock and then we need to click and collect but they disappeared. It's so basically we, just a nightmare but yeah, we have a sink finally. Everything's Ooh. good. Ooh, we've one. already cut the hole floor. Yeah <laughs> so we, were, we were pretty we stuck. stuck on it. We, that's the only thing <laughs> we could do so that's sorted mm. and now today we've got a couple of changes to make to a couple pieces. Varnishing of course that's just honestly it just takes so long to do it well. Um, so I'll keep chipping away at that. What else are we doing? Putting the top of our center console top on. Top of the center console on, that'll be nice. Um, figuring out the drawers situation. Yeah, I think I need to redo the drawers because I was slightly off width-wise with the measurements. I made a couple of adjustments in here, which meant the predicted width that I made in there are probably slightly off, so I'll have to modify those. Hopefully I can use what was already there. And just heaps of little things like that, but the biggest thing that's stopping it from looking so complete is basically the countertop. countertop. But we just need to keep putting more and more coats on. So, yeah, I mean, we'll just keep chipping away and see how we go. <laughs> what a fun job this is. <laughs> Center console lid going in. For those watching at home, the reason that, where's my finger? That goes out a little bit and the whole thing doesn't go out is just because of the handbrake. <laughs> nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. There we go. Good job. Yeah. You want screws? Looks great. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. That doesn't look great. But that'll get fixed. <laughs> but yeah. that, look at that. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Does that distract you? Nice. Nice. All right. It's been a pretty slow day, to be honest. But here we are. So I did the varnishing to start with. Tried to salvage the drawers, but decided I just want to redo them. I wasn't that happy with them the first time, so just trying to modify them is just going to keep making them worse. So I thought, screw it, I'll just do it all over again. I've used the base the same, so it was pretty quick smart. Thankfully, the tool's here. So Kendall's now inside painting them. I'm going to start looking at the curtain rail here. So we're going to move the one from the back to the gross side that Kendall's been cleaning. Gosh, she cleaned up for so long today. <laughs> Poor thing. Um, because we're just going to put in like a, we just sort of cut out a custom sort of uh, reflector thing that you normally use for the front windshield with the little um, suction cup. So we're just going to use that for the back just because the curtain drop didn't really work that well for the slope of the rear window. So, and it's right where our heads are when we sleep. So it's really awkward and sometimes light will come through and it's just kind of annoying. So we thought use suction caps, stick them on and that way they'll just cover up a really nice seal for it. But that it also means we can use these cur the curtain and the curtain rail where we've now opened up that space where the closet was because we don't have a curtain rail or the old one but it's gross and plastic um, and we got stainless steel ones uh curtain rails before the trip and now i tried to find more and they but they only sell plastic ones again so i'm really glad that we can just keep using the steel ones as opposed to the plastic because they're always going to go bad particularly in a hot van over time with heaps of use, which we, we use every day. So I'm just gonna drill out the rivets, see if I can get a couple of holes lined up with the previous railing, rail anyway. Uh, maybe drill a couple more, pop rivet it in, and should be pretty quick, good to go. Woo. 
What a rush. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Riveting. So the thing with the kitchenette that's a bit of a, makes things a little bit more difficult is because it's such a heavy duty uh, drawer slides, it means they can't come apart. So normally with drawer slides, you'd grab, you'd, you'd basically separate one to connect to the kitchenette in our case, and the other to connect to the inside of this, attach them separately, and then slide them together. But because they're so heavy duty, they don't separate, which means we basically need to attach the kitchenette on the drawer slides to here. But the only way you can do that is to not have the seat on. But in doing that, it, really, it like gets rid of structural integrity. So because it's such a big kitchenette and this part's quite wobbly, I can't just like let it hang out for a while. So I want to be quite quick in how I put it on. And then also the fact that the kitchenette will then be in the way for me to be able to then like screw in lots of things. So I put in these uh, little reinforceable L brackets. This isn't going to attach to anything other than what it's already on, which is the lid. But essentially it just means I've already got it set up so that I can push this to be, have a lot of pressure out on the outside wall of it and then it'll slip nicely in place so that as soon as that kitchenette is attached, we can whack that on and already those L brackets are now holding the supports out already. And then all I need to do is tack in a few more spots along the edges and I'll put a couple of L brackets at the back end there. And that way it's already solid, it's not really going anywhere. Obviously a few screws will secure it but at least that way it's not just going to sort of implode on itself with the whole weight of the <laughs> kitchenette because that's the last thing we really need. Good morning. Another day. This morning we're trying to fabricate how we're going to store our pot and pan under our bed in the most efficient way possible. We have an idea and we don't know if it's actually going to work yet, but essentially we bought these canvas bags and we're thinking, so one each will pop onto each section here. Kind of like that. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Basically screwing into each side. With then just enough slack for the pan and pot to be able to fit into their own little individual ones. And then just making sure that the front of it, like the lip of it's still taut enough so that it'll it won't then just want to fall out. We may need to then add some other thing to make sure it definitely doesn't fall out, but the spot's small enough, I think, for it to just be able to sit in there. So it's basically like a pouch, like a kangaroo's pouch. <laughs> and hopefully that works. I don't know, I haven't seen yeah. it before. We we're gonna fabricate it out of like shade cloth material, but I think it would have been more of a headache than anything. So we found these canvas bags. We just take the straps off obviously and then I don't know, we'll try and figure out what to do. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna tackle that this morning. And then what else do we have today? We have, we're not gonna do the kitchenette until probably tomorrow yeah. because that's a pretty big, pretty big one. Um, but we're gonna work on the drawers. Yeah, we gotta paint the drawers and then hopefully mount them today so they're done. That's carried on longer than I was hoping, having to redo them. Um, and then more varnishing, of course, do some divides for the closet still not sure on the spacing but i just need to get them cut and painted so that they're already done and we can modify them whenever we need there's plenty of little things to keep going with but yeah but it's still coming along pretty nicely yeah we're I'd getting say. close yeah it's exciting Ooh. trying to figure out how to attach Perfect. Perfect. And then when it comes down, boom. Can't go anywhere. Yeah, it holds it in place. Where do you works. go, kangaroos? You got something right? That works. Ugh. Now I just secure it a bit more. I'll do the other side, which is even more awkward. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting in there. <laughs> Great. This one has to be a little bit different because we don't want it hitting that, that piece. Who put that there? Huh? <laughs> Idiots. So it has to sit a little bit more offset. And it's a bit deeper as well. Yeah. But no handle. 
Should still be good though, hopefully. Hopefully, if not, we'll just have a patch for keeping our things. <laughs> yeah. See how that goes in. It's snug. It is snug. Look at that. <laughs> beauty, beauty. A little pouch. Yeah. Does not impede. Perfect. Ripper. That's great. Success. I'm stoked with that. Oh, I just needed to be put on all the way. Oh! Oh, look at that soft clothes. Does it feel good? <laughs> oh, it feels good. <laughs> well, it looks good. You just have to put the, fr yeah, the, so put a front on. the front on to make it pretty. You don't like the screws in? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Fancy drawers. Fancy drawers. Fancy drawers. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now we have to put on the other one. Woo! Woo! Oh! Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I need to wipe those down, but yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you do. We're also redoing the front of our overhead compartment because previously our old one always hit those uh the buckle for our that ties down our pop top and it was so annoying so now we're just giving it a new little face a new little face a new little face looks great Beauty. <sighs> yay yay all right another big day ahead <laughs> It's gonna be a scorcher too. Classic South Australia. <laughs> Yesterday was like cold. It was actually like quite cold last night. And today it's just gonna be an absolute scorcher. Plenty still to do though. Yep. Although it's all really like tying up loose ends now, which is really exciting. We did a fair few things yesterday, which I'm stoked about. Yeah, yeah, really stoked. <laughs> um, I think today, are we gonna put the kitchen out in? Yeah, today's basically focal point is the kitchen out. Hopefully that's all good. <laughs> I really hope. God, it's making me nervous just thinking about it. And that's the biggest one, because then that means we can then put the top on the rear-facing bench seat, which means I can also play around with the under sink door and also play around with the sink itself on the countertop. Still some more varnishing and sanding to do. But yeah, the big thing is the kitchen out and then just seeing where else where else we get to. But it's all really coming together. Yeah, feels good. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, how's it looking? I think good. Yeah? Looks good. I'm just nervous. I was just nervous about the whole thing. So all the drawer slides are all locked in so what now we have to just put on the top yeah close it up basically just holding this side out so that it's not going to cave in i don't think it will but i just want to put as little strain on the screws and the timber as i can that's unnecessary if i can just pop it on so we put the top on first and yeah. then and then we'll do a proper weight test <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we're putting the lid on. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Yeah. And a cushion is gonna go here, obviously. Yeah. So we can sit here. Similar to our old setup, but better. Bigger and better. <laughs> All right. Uh, how are you gonna secure it from the inside? No, 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 I'm gonna. So I've got the support brackets that are holding out against the walls to stop it from caving in. Right. And then I've got a solid L bracket at that end that's gonna support weight going down on it as opposed to out. Oh yeah. So it's screwed. So when we sit on wall, it, so it will secure at that end. And then the structural integrity. This is a nice thick bit of ply. So then just by screwing it in here. The wall will be pushing in on it, the timber will be solid by itself, and then screwing it will just secure it nicely. 
You theory. might say that you're gonna just screw it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so corny. <laughs> this hay is getting to me. Okay, top is secured. It's on. It is on. <laughs> Bearing in mind, this is empty too, which makes me, more, every time I put something in it, I'm gonna be nervous. The yeah. First few months, at least. Yeah, it has to hold a lot. Ooh. Oh, scary, scary. Uh, so it's quite stiff. No, it's not too bad. It's better for it to be stiff, though, a little bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Over time, it'll probably loosen up a bit. Yeah. Okay, so. Kitchenette is solid, good to go. So we're putting these uh, little grip things at the bottom here and here. Probably up here, maybe. Oh, uh, what do you think? Ooh, I can say. Yeah. I right, well. put them out there. We can always take them out if you don't like we'll them. Have the fabric. Yeah. Um, we also put them in our drawers. It just helps hold everything together so that when we're moving, it doesn't slide around. We had them in our old build, and everything worked really fine. So. So hard. Okay, so now that the kitchenette is well and truly in, we're working on the countertop and sink stitch yeah. because it's going to be raining tomorrow and the next day and the next day. We don't know how much. Like the predictions yeah. say kind of a lot, but you never really know, especially in South Australia. No. So and it's hard to be moving important items from out there to in here when it's raining. Yeah, so we, we're just going to try to push through and get the bulk of the stuff in, yeah. and then we can tinker Still away. Yeah, and smaller things throughout the weekend, but getting the bulk of it done now while we have yeah. sunshine and time. Alright, uh, the time has come. Everything looks really good. I'm really stoked with it all. Uh, we've put in a couple extra brackets. There are a few things uh, cleaning up the back there. Um, and obviously the two benches we have they'll be pretty wedged together anyway just for how tightly it's all going to go with all their compartments but just to try and keep it all as one particularly as this one's really skinny um, i got these little like bench connectors where basically you just drill like bore half a hole, half deep hole into the bench on each one so i've got one on the main piece and one on the skinny piece and then you slip these circular guys into them and then just tighten it up and it just sort of pushes them together essentially so at least that way they're nice and snug and that's their position that they'll stay on top of then all the other little fixing points that we're going to have throughout it so i've already put the extra little ones in so it's all pretty snug anyway um, but i just want to secure it a little bit more so they're definitely butting together it's not the cleanest um, but i definitely wanted because we had to get two separate benches i did want to be able to pull out the back half if we needed to whether it was future renovations or if there's any panel beating we need to reach the inside out for if we need to just be able to take it off to change whatever we want to change i didn't want to actually laminate them together and make them one piece it also makes it easier to put it in and out um, without then varnishing them gluing them together varnishing them as one because then it makes a really long awkward piece that i fear would probably twist or snap funny anyway so put them in and then I'm going to secure the extra little brackets and then we'll basically go from there, but it's pretty exciting. Top bit going in. Hold please. Okay, it's in. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Look at oh, that beast. It works. Look at it that works. beast. Woo, good Yay. job, Gunny. Okay, we just have one more top to put in. And then the countertop is done. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the counter is. The counter. But then we have the sink. Yes. To do. But in terms of the countertop, if this goes in, we are finito. Truth. Boom! Yay. Nice! Yay. Soft clothes. Woo!
water. We finished. We're done. We are mostly done. Mostly done. <laughs> this, done yeah. yeah, the workshop portion, we're done. Yeah. Which is the biggest and the biggest sigh of relief to be finished. I mean, yeah. <sighs> the main part of the build is done. We still have to get, we're getting new seats. Yeah. Uh, Reupholstered seats as well as a new cushion for our rear facing bench seats. Yeah, so that we'll needs do to that get this week. cut a little as well because it was longer now. Obviously, yeah. a little shorter. Yeah, but the, everything else is pretty much done. Oh, it feels so good. So good. It's just so nice to like jump in bands at the end of the day and be like, yes, <laughs> yes, we're in our little Yay. home again. It's worked so, and the space we have now is incredible. Yeah. Like, we have actual space yeah. to store things efficiently. It's unbelievable how much space we have. So next episode, we're gonna do a full van tour showing before and afters and all the ins and outs of our current setup. It'll be a good one. It'll be really good. I'm so excited. We've got a couple of days, as we said, just doing the reupholstery. We're gonna get a service for Vance. Uh, we've got a couple of things to replace with the mechanics. And then after that, we're going straight over to the Air Peninsula for a summer and Christmas fun over there. See you next time. Thank you.